Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Codextral, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stream on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, etc. from your computer. Now we're messing around with Streamlabs OBS, also known as Slobs for short. So I am creating a segment of videos, please check in the description down below to get caught up to find out where we are at so you don't get lost. But um, yeah, so do me a favor is go ahead and to subscribe towards the channel hit the post notifications whenever I upload a video it'll most likely be a tutorial on the main channel or I'll be live streaming if you ever need technical support uh, just come at me and say what's up dude just like hey you know when I'm live streaming just just tell me what you need that's what I'm here for I enjoy helping out people or I even have discord so let me know what's going on and uh, you know I do have a secondary channel which is code actual games on YouTube so let's go ahead and continue okay so you're at the you watch the video and now we're at this part so we want to we want to stream on twitch and I'll talk about YouTube and uh, the other services here in a second so to make sure you sign up on twitch and whatnot and we want to get our stream key so basically what I did is I typed in stream space key space twitch on Google and it's gonna be your first link twitch.tv slash broadcast slash dashboard slash stream key go ahead and click on that and this is gonna be where we wanna to go to. You wanna hit show, then you're gonna copy that. Additionally, uh, on a optimized preference, so if you want normal latency, it'll give you the best for highest quality video at the highest resolution, and it reduces buffering. So if you have fast internet and you have a bomb ass computer, um, I'd suggest that you do low latency, so it's really close to real time. So if I start streaming and there's like a seven second delay, that would be because of um, normal latency. So if you want to be like a two to three second delay and this is where you want to choose. So I'm going to leave mine at low latency. So I'm just letting you know about that. Scroll down. There should be a save button. Okay, there's not. So it'll automatically save for you. So now you've got the stream key. Is let's go ahead and go on Twitch and um, choose the closest server. So can we not choose the closest server? If it gives you an option that you can choose the closest server towards your location, do select that for some odd reasons not letting me do that now paste in the key and select done then all you gotta do is click on go live then that's basically it for twitch uh, make sure that you want to update the game that you're playing so you want to go towards your channel sorry I'm doing a rerun on my own video so if you want to um, edit the game that you're playing click on edit then you know this is the title then this is gonna be the game and if you want to join a community you know feel free to add a community and whatnot so I'm just letting you know about that that's one way to edit um, the title and gameplay usually when you do select live it will ask you what game you're playing and what title you want to name it so that will automatically integrate with twitch so that's why I love Streamlabs OBS because it's awesome additionally uh, you also have a chat features right here so if you select that um the arrow button you can see the chat option and uh watch people chatting up with you so what about youtube so what we can do now is hit back on the settings go to stream and what we want to do is select youtube and let's go ahead and bring that on over so with youtube the chat's going to be on the right. However, it's not integrated with the Streamlabs OBS chat. I wish that they did. Um, if they do have it, let me know. Uh, and what we need to do is, so it's going to be youtube.com slash live dashboard. So basically, you can get to that by hitting your creator studio. Then this whole sidebar will pop up. Click on live streaming, then click on stream now. Then scroll all the way down and get your stream key and you're gonna paste that in right here now if it doesn't go live what you can do is go select the server URL copy that and go to custom streaming uh, server then paste in the RTMP URL then the stream key then you're good so it'll be streaming on towards YouTube so as for mixer we're gonna be doing an RTMP so again, choose the nearest location that you're at, um, which has the lowest ping or lowest latency. Then on with Mixer, 
is you sign in and oh, also before I uh, go up on Mixer, sorry about that. Um, here's where you need to change your title and your gameplay um, if you're playing a game or whatever category you're in with your live streaming. So just uh, just a FYI, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, now let's go on with Mixer. So what you want to do is go to Mixer.com, then um, you click on your icon on the top right, then you click on Manage Channel. Then right here is your stream key. Then you copy that in and you paste it right there. Then, you know, if you're having problems, get the RTMP URL, paste that in in the stream key. So I'm letting you know now, keep that stream key safe. Don't give it out to anybody. If you give it out uh, to somebody, they could boot you off that stream and they could perform their own stream. So um, there's a huge FYI. You can regenerate it and keep it um, at a new stream key, then you'll be good. So I'm um, just letting you know, you want to keep that stream key secret. Now as for Facebook, you know, you just got to go to Facebook, then you go to live video. So for example, let me go towards my Facebook. Um, let me go towards my page on Facebook. So it's still loading up. With Facebook, it's a little bit tricky. So, once it fully loads up here. So once you go to your page and whatnot, the, once you go to comments, when you're about to write a comment or a post, it'll give you the option to hit live video. Make sure you hit that live video. Okay, now I can drag it on over because I don't, there's just certain stuff that I don't want to be shown. So when you click on live video, um, click on connect. Now, oh great, it shows the stream key. Thank God I can reset it. So you get the server URL, then you know you paste that all in and whatnot. You, already, you should already know how to do it by now. So you know, stream, uh, custom stream, or even streaming service, and go down to Facebook Live and you know, hit the default and put in the stream key. So, first thing is what you need to do with. Facebook, it's it's a little bit sensitive because put in your whatnot stuff and whatever you're doing, and if you want to stream longer than four hours, make sure you go to settings and hit publish this as a continuous live video, right? Then here's your gaming, whatever you want to play as a game. So what you need to do first is after you add in the streaming key and whatnot, you have to click on go live, then you go back towards here, then on this screen on the left, it'll start to show what you're streaming. Then you click on go live right here, then you're actually live on Facebook. So that's a little bit tricky. Um, so if you wanna stream on you now, I already have a tutorial for that, so uh, you can watch that. I have a lot of tutorials for a lot of things. So this is just the basics of how to stream on your favorite social media. So. If you guys find this video tutorial helpful, please, for the love of God, uh, leave a like. Share this with all of your friends. If there's something that I didn't cover, let me know. If I'm live streaming and you have a question, don't be afraid. Just let me know. Uh, I'll help you in any way I can and whatnot. So, um, yeah. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to add scenes, how to add sources, how to make your live stream look badass. Alrighty. So, um, yeah. Thank you for sticking around with the segment of these videos and whatnot, and I'll see you in the next video. Y'all take care. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, running till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving. I'm just acting like a cake.